Hey guys, how's it going? Tea Leaf Nika here. I feel like making cupcakes so badly. My friend gave me this vegan I'm vegan now. cupcake book and I think I'm gonna go with the golden vanilla cupcakes. I want to make a pretentious cupcake. All right, so what pretentious ingredients do I have? Cardamom. That's- oh! <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. Okay, how about no for that? We got some clovers here. I basically have all the chai spices because you guys remember that chai video I made? It's just standard Indian spices are in my house, obviously. Because I'm Indian. Oh, I got it. Culinary lavender. Oh, yes. This is perfect. Okay. Pretentious cupcake of the day, vanilla lavender. We're gonna do a vanilla lavender cupcake. So the thing I have to figure out now is how to infuse the lavender in the cupcake. And I think that I'm gonna do it through the soy milk that we're gonna use. All right, so I got my one cup of whatever milk that you have. I'm gonna put this over the stove and heat it up. While that's heating, I think I'm gonna preheat the oven and get the baking tray ready. <laughs> Wait till you see the baking tray. So like an idiot, I bought a 24 size baking tray and you know, this would be great if you had a family of five, but I'm like one person here. I'm not gonna eat 24 cupcakes. So I literally always only use half of it. There you go, I got the cupcake tray lined, 12 of them. I'm gonna get the other ingredients prepared while that milk is heating up on the stove. In my entire kitchen, I decided to film this on this tiny part of the kitchen, so bear with me, but I have one and a quarter cup of flour in here. Baking powder, three fourths of a teaspoon, about half a teaspoon of baking soda. I'm sure you're not supposed to use this sort of salt, but it's all I have, so. I'm adding some sea salt in this. And then you sift. So while all that sifting was going on, I actually added lavender to that milk that was on the stove. I added about one tablespoon of lavender, as you can see right here. It smells pretty decent. I think I'm heading in the right direction, we'll see. So one third cup of oil goes in, <laughs> very healthy. <laughs> and now we have to do three fourths cup of sugar. So I put all that sugar in. Mm. And then I'm just gonna throw in some vanilla extract and it's it looks like this weird mixture because we still have to add One more sort of combination of liquids So I took the lavender milk strained out all the lavender flowers And then I added one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar to it and now it's curdling a little bit and we're supposed to set that aside I was thinking I want to make an icing, but I don't know what I'm gonna color it with I was thinking about actually making a dye with the flowers I have. So I added the lavender milk and vinegar to that sugar oil vanilla mixture and it made this weird thing. And at this point, I don't even know if this is gonna turn out correctly, but we'll just see how it goes. And so now we're going to add the gross mixture to the flour. Oh, it's a workout. You know, I got inspired to bake because I was watching MasterChef Junior. There's just so much better than I'll ever be. It smells so good. You know, I'm not usually a dessert person, but I could eat this. This looks legit. Like it actually looks like batter. All right, so I filled up all the liners and put it all in the oven and I set the oven for 20 minutes. I completely forgot to shoot all that, but uh, yeah, it happened. So I think it, for the icing, I'm going to use the green tea glaze recipe from this book, but obviously I'm not gonna add the green tea or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna add. All right, so we're gonna add two tablespoons of butter. Just cut it right off the block like a champion. Then add it to your bowl. <laughs> then you're going to fluff it up with a fork like so. There, that looks that looks fluffed enough, right? Now we're gonna do one cup of powdered sugar. All right, so we got the one cup of powdered sugar. Let me take this time now to remind you that this recipe is not healthy at all. Now this is the part I'm most interested about. So I've had lavender leaves soaking in hot water in this mug for about 10 minutes. So let's strain this out and see if there's any sort of color. All right, so we got a little bit of like a purplish hue and I'm going to use this as the liquid base of the icing instead of rice milk like the original recipe and see if any sort of color transfers and also to try to get some of that lavender smell to it. So yeah, it didn't turn purple. I didn't see it coming because the liquid wasn't pigmented enough. All right guys, I just pulled them out of the oven. You gotta look at this. Look at them. They look like real cupcakes. I think I actually did it. Next shot of me is probably gonna be in the bedroom <laughs> because that lighting is just so terrible. So I'll be right back. All right, here it is, the lavender vanilla cupcake with the lavender vanilla icing. Now it's time for a taste test. Oh, oh my gosh. 
Wow, it's so good. I'm actually very surprised that I achieved the lavender flavor inside of this. It's like actually legitimately lavender, but not in an overpowering way. If I'm editing this video and I see that the way I explained how to make this sucks, future me is probably going to edit something down here degrading me. <laughs> and then after that, future me is probably going to put the entire recipe that I use down in the description below so you can use it as well. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.